It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. I feel like we got to start diving into that Tupac bag more often. So I grabbed up Do For Love. It's a music video with like cartoon animations and stuff like that, which kind of looks dope. And I wanted to get into this because this is my favorite rapper. A lot of his music, I honestly haven't heard for over 10 plus years, which I know it's crazy to say that when I say he's my favorite rapper, but I haven't listened to a lot of music since like 2012, all the way up until now, aside from doing my reactions, which we started in like 2019, 2020, and I just haven't done a lot of Tupac. So at this point, all of his music, although I remember some of it, it's, it's almost like it's all fresh for me again. And I figured this is the perfect time to start diving back into it, sharing it with you guys, having some conversations around it. So if that's something you guys enjoy, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and comment down below what else you guys want to see, what other Tupac songs you guys think that we should listen to, talk about, you know, all that kind of stuff. But let's get into this one. Let's see what that man's cooking with. From the start, taught me so many lessons. I'm not to mess with broken hearts. So many questions. When this began, we was the perfect match for her. It's just the way he comes in. He taught me not to just broken hearts. Like he's got such a unique style, voice. That there's just nobody like Pac. And to me, that's impressive because of the fact that there's literally been millions and millions of people that have done rap. And there's a lot of people that, although may not sound exactly like somebody else, like you can find someone that you're like, ah, they're, they're in the same boat, right? They might be on opposite ends of the boat, but it's, it's kind of similar. There's some comparisons that you can make here and there, but there's few people out there that literally sound genuinely themselves and no one else can really match that. And Pac was one of them. And a lot of it, I think, was his voice. Like he could almost like, he can get aggressive. He can like almost have a preaching kind of sound to it. The, the, the heartfelt songs, like it just, like he was so versatile vocally without really singing or anything, but just kind of doing like, I'd say like low key melodies that just worked with his voice. It's just, it's just so different. It's so different. And it just, whoo, shit brings me back listening. You a little suck up for love. I, 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 <laughs> I should have seen you with trouble right from the start. Took me so many lessons. I'm not to mess with broken hearts. So many questions. When this began, we was the perfect match, perhaps. We had some problems, but we working at it. And now the arguments are getting loud. I want to stay, but I can't help from walking out. Let's throw it away. Just take my hand and understand. If you could see, I never planned to be a man. It just wasn't me. But now I'm searching for commitment and other arms. I want to shelter you from harm. Don't be alarmed. Your attitude was the cause. You got me stressing. Soon as I open up the door with your jealous questions. Like, where can I be? You're killing me with your jealousy. Then my ambitions to be free. I can't breathe. Because soon as I leave, it's like a trap. I hear you calling me to come back. I'm a sucker for love. What you won't do. Yo, and, and what he talks about, too. It's just like, ooh, I like this. I feel like it, like a lot of these songs, and not just from Pac, but from a lot of different people, like it's just, there's such a connection there for so many people because we all kind of go through a lot of similarities when it comes to relationships, when it comes to love, when it comes to just interactions that we have with people. Obviously, every situation and, and every person is unique, but a lot of it kind of comes to the same the same points at times, right? Like, like he's talking about, you know, the, the whole not they taught me not to mess with broken hearts is a real thing, right? Like you got to be very careful. If you try to date somebody that just got out of a relationship, them getting into another one so quickly should be a huge red flag, right? And it doesn't mean that they're a horrible person, but they might just be looking for just like relief from how they feel, right? Or, or just, just something to kind of distract them, so to speak. So you may end up just being a distraction, whereas you're going into it wholeheartedly thinking like, yo, I really vibe with this person. And in your head, you might think that they're going to start vibing with you because you guys are having a good time. But it, it, you, you never really know. Like when someone's in that position, they're more accepting of a lot of different things because, again, they want that distraction. And I feel like that was a relationship that I had a few years back with somebody who like it was a really odd situation. But I, I feel like they were hurt from the person that they were in a relationship with like years back. And I just feel like they never allowed themselves to fully heal from it. And so they kept looking for distractions, kept looking for almost like a way out of the relationship, but they didn't actually want to leave it. it it's, it's, it's a long story. I made a whole fucking album about it, but a lot of you guys may have you know known Hopeless album, different shit like that was talked about, but I, I didn't really consider it at the time because I didn't know, like, right? Like I was kind of in the dark on it. And that's another thing you got to worry about. Someone might not be open with you about some of the shit that's going on in their life. And so you think everything is just sunshine and rainbows. And then you come to find out that 
in reality, they're probably in a certain mental space and you just happen to be that person that was a good distraction, a person that they were able to enjoy experience new things with, uh, you know, different shit like that. Like at the time I was growing on YouTube and so she would come over and we would do live streams together and just a lot of different things that like she probably hadn't experienced before. And I had neither cause it was all new to me. And so it was cool to share this with somebody and feel like, you know, we're growing in a similar space, so, so to speak. And, and, you know, she would engage with everybody and, and kind of start doing her own thing. I was trying to encourage her to do like a cooking channel. Like it was, it was a beautiful thing and I really enjoyed it. But then it came to a point where you start to find more and more stuff out and realize that, there's a lot more to it. And, and a lot of it kind of at the end felt like I was just a distraction. I was just something to try to help get through what was happening in her life or what she was dealing with mentally. And it doesn't mean that that can't turn into a relationship at the end of the day, but it's, it's something that you got to be very careful with because you never know what direction it's going to go in. <laughs> Trap me, say you're pregnant, and guess who's the daddy? Don't want to fall for it, but in this case, what could I do? So now I'm back to making promises to you, trying to keep it true. What if I'm wrong? A trick to keep me on and on, trying to be strong in the process. Keep it going, I'm about to lose my composure. I'm getting close to packing up and leaving notes and getting ghosts. Tell me who knows a peaceful place where I can go to clear my head. I'm feeling low, losing control. My heart is saying leave, or oh, what a tangle where we weave when we conspire to conceive. And now you're getting calls at the house. Guess you're cheating. That's all I need to hear Cause I'm leaving I'm out the door Never know more when you see me This is the end Cause now I know you've been cheating I'm a you And that's an interesting situation I've never been in Where like you 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 probably thinking about leaving somebody But like he said You know you trapped me Like you got pregnant And, and you know And that could be a controversial statement Some people look at it one way Some look at it another way Like well you knew what you were doing You were having sex It's like yeah But you, you never know what that conversation was beforehand Right like you might have a conversation with someone Where they're like I don't want to have a baby Or I don't want to have one right now And so you believe them If they say that they're on the pill Or they're on some form of birth control But the next thing you know They're like oh I got pregnant Yeah it just it didn't work But in reality They were just kind of bullshitting Because they wanted to get pregnant Because they thought This, this is the one way to keep this person here and so he's like damn well it looks like i'm back to you know the situation and and all that kind of stuff which is good on him to be like yo i'm not leaving all right i'm gonna go back to it but he knew that it wasn't really where he wanted to be like his heart was telling him to leave and then once he found out that she's actually cheating it's like well now i've got my out like i'm i'm, I'm, I'm leaving like you know at that point you can't expect somebody to stay but also you never even know if that kid is yours if you find out that she's cheating i'm just happy i've never been in a situation like this I've never been in a situation where somebody lied and then, you know, they end up getting pregnant and there's some bullshit and just very happy that I've never been there. Shout out to anybody that has, but you know, it's a little tricky. I wish I could say. On your pillow when you still stay As you sit and pray Hoping the beatings to go away It wasn't always a hit and run relationship It used to be love, happiness, and companionship <laughs> Remember when I treated you good I moved you up to the hills Out the eels of the ghetto hood Me and you were happy home When it was on I had a love to call my own I still have seen you was trouble But I was lost Trapping your eyes Preoccupied with getting tossed No need to lie You had a man and I knew it You told me Don't worry about it We can do it now I'm under pressure Make a decision cause I'm waiting when I'm alone I'm on the phone having secret conversations I, I wanna take your misery Replace it with happiness but I need your faith in me I'm you that's a now that's a tricky situation i don't think i'd be in a relationship with somebody if i knew for a fact they definitely had a man but at the same time i guess like you meet people that seem so cool like there there's one person there's one person and i was actually just talking about this in my discord the other day. like yo there's one person that if i was single and, and i knew that she wanted to hang out and i know that she's got a man like i'd probably entertain it because i'm like yo she's like the coolest person that i ever met like so so dope and I met her, funny enough, I met her through somebody I was dating at the time in the past. So I guess that, you know, that might be its own bag of problems. But she is unbelievably amazing. And, you know, she does her thing and she's traveling. And I just saw that she's down in Florida. And, you know, and 
I sent a little message just, just to be nice and stuff because we're friendly with each other and everything like that. But it's it's like I'll probably never end up hanging out with her ever again. She's probably going to end up marrying the person that she's with. And, you know, nothing wrong with that. But that'd be the one situation I'd, I'd consider it. I'd consider it. But I think that it's 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 tricky because you got to be careful as far as, like, what situation you put yourself in. Um, I've said this on some videos before for anybody that's watched a lot of my reactions. But I had a friend who was dating somebody. And it wasn't even that she had somebody else. She was finishing up a divorce. And it was out in the open and like it was clear to him and to her that they can go and date separate people. Like all of that was out in the open. There was no secrets, no hiding, nothing like that. And my friend started to date her and they went to a restaurant, had a good meal. And this wasn't the first time they hung out, but then they went back to, I believe, her place and he spent the night there. Well, this guy, even though and they also have a kid together and this guy decided that he just wasn't going to. Be okay with this and he ended up breaking into the apartment or house or whatever it was and he killed both of them crazy shit so you never know man like you you, you never know so you got to be really careful because even when you're in a situation where you feel like okay they're split up they're in the middle of going through the divorce they have a kid together so you assume everything is going to be kosher for the most part but nope he decided i'm going to go to jail for the rest of my life and i'm going to take her out and him out and now the kid unfortunately is probably in foster care maybe like grandparents or something like that but he's never gonna be the same like he's gonna deal with that for the rest of his life then people lost their lives like it's just sad so you got to be very careful i've also dated a girl where she said one time that her ex-boyfriend told her that he was outside the house while i was there and we were sleeping and he told her like a day or two later that he was sitting in his car with a shotgun deciding if he should come inside and this was something where i thought that they had been done for a while so even in those situations, you got to be careful because some people just hold on and never let go. And I was like, yo, like <laughs> from now on, I'm going to do like background checks. Make sure that you have not talked to anybody for like at least three years and there's no communication because I'm not about to get myself in a situation like that. I like how they got him thrown up the west side. Yo. <laughs> All right, and I figured it was over, but I was like, let me just let it rock a little bit because I do enjoy this. So I'm just going to give you guys a forewarning. For anyone that's still here, first of all, you're you're extremely dope. Drop a pineapple down below if you're still here in, in, the, in the comment section. If you decide to comment, I know not everybody does. But it just lets me know that you got through this video and rocked with me with it, and I appreciate you guys. And I'm just giving you a heads up. When we do Tupac reactions, they might be pretty long. Because I feel like he's always talking about some topics that I can have a whole lot of shit to say. And, uh, and, th and that's what I like to do with reactions. I'm not necessarily going to sit here and always break down every single thing that's being rapped about as far as like, oh, he did this with that bar. And you know what I'm saying? Like at times I might explain stuff like that if I feel like it's necessary. But there are channels that break it down like bar for bar. Like here's the scheme that he used. Here's the inner rhyme pattern. And I think that that's dope. I more so like to take the topics that they're rapping about and kind of elaborate on these topics and why I feel like they mentioned it and my experiences with it. And you know what I'm saying? Like I have a little bit more of a personal conversation with you guys. So you guys are going to see that in a lot of my reactions if you're new here. If you're not, you already know that. But appreciate you guys. More pot coming for sure, and I will catch you in the next one, homies.